In this video, we've got a crate of mass 150 kilos is pulled vertically upwards by a cable attached to it. A box of mass 60 kilos is attached to the bottom of the crate by a light and extensible rope. The crate and box are accelerating upwards at 0.8 meters per second per second. Right, let's draw a diagram. OK, so we've got this crate. OK, there's the crate and it is attached um, by a cable, OK, and below it, attached to the bottom, is a box. And it's attached to the crate by a rope, OK? So this is the situation as it stands. Now, we've got the crate has a mass of 150 kilos. So I'm going to draw the uh, weight here as 100, uh, sorry, 150 g, OK? And we've got the weight of the box uh, is 60 g. Now, there's going to be this tension in the cable, which I'm going to call T1. And this tension in the rope, which I'm going to call T2. OK? So this is the situation as it stands. OK? Right. So, oh, and the crate and box are accelerating upwards at 0.8 metres per second per second. So, 0.8 metres per second per second. OK? So this is the situation. Right, find the tension in the cable. OK, so what you can do in some circumstances like this is what you can treat all of this as one single particle. OK, which makes sense, as because if we're looking at that cable, then it doesn't matter if um, we're pulling up just one big crate uh, with a mass of 210 kilos or if we've got this, they separated between the crate and the box 150 and 60 kilos. It doesn't matter, OK? That cable has still got to support 210 kilos. So if we treat it like one particle, OK, then what I've got is I've got, if I resolve upwards, taking upwards as positive, I've got T1 working upwards, OK? And against me, OK, this negates the problem of the T2 here, OK, because if I just treat this one big particle, I don't need to worry about the T2. So I've just got the 210 G working against me. And that's got to be equal to the mass, which is the 210 in total, times by the acceleration of 0 0.8. OK, so... T1 is 210 times the 0 0.8 plus 210 times 9.8. We're going to take nine, uh, gravity as 9.8. And I get 2,226 newtons. OK? So that is the tension in the cable. Now find the tension in the rope. So I've got to find T2. OK, so now I'm just going to look at the crate and the box separately. So if I look at the crate, OK, then if I take upwards as positive, then I've got T1, which is the 2,226 newtons. I've got the 150 G working against me. And I've got T2 working against me. And that's got to be equal to the mass times the acceleration. OK? So this gives me an equation which I can now solve. So um, I've got, for T2, I've got the 2,226. Take away the 150 G, which gets to be 756. And then take away the 150 times 0.8. And that gets me down to 636 newtons. OK? So, I mean, you could always check by just looking at the box. So if we'd taken the box instead and resolved that upwards, OK, then I've got the T2 
uh, take away the 60g is equal to the mass times by the acceleration. Okay, so we've got 60 times 0 0.8 and then add on 60 lots of 9.8 and we get 636. So it would actually have been easier to resolve uh, upwards using the box uh, rather than the crate. They both get exactly the same answer.